Hi everyone, welcome to our channel English for Millennials. I would like to give a big shout out to Mr. Randy Humakyao and Miss Geraldine Isahal who inspired me to blog my book. Also a big shout out to my mentors who immediately gave their positive feedbacks on my first blog. Professor Sinaida Cabangon, Engineer Nelson Enchienza, Miss Elizabeth Intoy, and Miss Beatrice Inofre. I am very proud of you as my mentors. I am Rupert Jordan, a regular in special education enthusiast. I will talk about the factors that hinder verbal, nonverbal, written, and visual communications and the ways to get rid of them. Let me just give you two simple acronyms or formulae which are very useful for these topics. To identify the barriers, you will follow 2P and Glyce equal 0 and not 8. Hold your judgment, don't just the book by its cover. Number smart people, don't just my simple formula. You will find out the answer later. And for the ways to get rid of these barriers, you will use 2SU Paycom to give you 8 and not 0. Again, hold your judgment and you will find out the answer later. And probably you will agree with me. Let the very first P be your physical barriers. Are you worried about the physical environment in the school or in the workplace such as large study areas or working areas, separate class by levels of performance, pilot section, remedial class or lower section, and in the workplace there are separate areas for people of different socioeconomic status. Don't worry, be happy. Throw these barriers and get rid of them. With the power of social media by English for Millennials, you can easily get connected with a very friendly environment on the net nowadays. And your networks can be your valuable resources to improve communication. Now, let the second P be your perceptual barriers. These are your different perceptions of the world. You try to look at others as different. There are fast learners or slow learners. Don't be sad, be happy. Always think that nobody is superior, nobody is inferior, but nobody is equal either. You know, status is only a social construct. It is not made by God. Throw these barriers. Always believe that you are fundamentally worthy as people. Believe in yourselves. Be proud of what you have and enjoy them every day. You know, knowing your self-worth and being able to identify all of your positive qualities will help you recognize a big difference you can make in improving your communication. Now the Glyce. Let G be your gender barriers. Are you worried about the number of words you can speak in a day? Are you worried about the fact that a woman can speak around 20,000 words in a day? Whereas a man can only speak around 7,000 according to the recent research. Oh, there's a big Seriously, difference. right? Or worried about the fact that during childhood stage, Girls normally speak earlier than boys and have a vocabulary twice that of boys at the age of three. That's the loveliest thing I've ever heard. Are you worried about the issue that a man only uses the left side of his brain but not a specific area of it when he speaks? Whereas a woman uses both left and right sides in two specific locations when she speaks. Wow! This is the reason why men speak in a linear, logical, and compartmentalized yes. way. This is an ability demonstrating left brain thinking dominance. 
whereas women speak more freely, mixing logic and emotion using both sides of the brain, versatile they are. Oh yeah. Thus, women talk much longer than men each day. So it is unfair to say that women are very talkative. I don't think so. <laughs> no. Sorry, Mama. Let's say that it is just the nature. That's the loveliest thing I've ever heard. Don't be sad. Be happy. Just accept the fact. Let gender barriers and insecurities be not a big deal now. Oh, yeah? Throw them and get rid of them. Your coaches and your mentors can understand better your gender differences now. Let L be your language barriers. If you are not familiar with the formal or common expressions, buzzwords, or jargon in English language or other foreign languages, they may present barriers to you. But don't worry, you will be coached as if you are in the inclusive environment with the length of teaching experiences I and other coaches have learned how to understand better our oh, learners. Yeah. We do believe that understanding helps them learn better. You are most welcome in this channel despite non-standard accent and probably low level of proficiency at the moment. That's the loveliest or thing I've ever heard. Even you are using the English Carabao or Carabao. So sorry wow. to the Philippine Carabao or Bivalis Bivalis wow. as its scientific name. We do believe that it is we do believe that it will be perfected through constant practice in the long run. Remember the old saying practice makes perfect get rid of these barriers do not hesitate to belong to em group or english for millennials group let i be your interpersonal barriers usually these are the barriers that alienate yourselves from others Eliminate your withdrawal tendency, which is both refusal to be in touch or to be alone because it is an absence of interpersonal contact. Forget about ritual which are meaningless, repetitive routines or ceremony because they lack real contact. Listen your pastimes to fill up time with others. Minimize your time for computer games, for they are very subtle, manipulative interactions, which are about winning and losing only. Get rid of these barriers by maintaining good interpersonal contact or closeness that promotes honesty and acceptance. By working on improving your communications and by changing your thoughts, feelings, and physical connections. Let's see be your cultural barriers. These are barriers that always take place when you join a group and when you wish to remain in that group. You have to adapt the behavior patterns of that group whether you like them or not. Normally, the group will not bend to your needs, likes and dislikes, but you are the one to adjust to their ways. Eventually, the group will reward such behavior through acts of recognition, approval, and inclusion. As a result, they are very happy to accept you, and where you are happy to conform, there is a mutuality of interest and high level of win-win contact. When you get rid of these barriers, game playing replaces good communication in the end. When you successfully do it, you will receive a sense of acceptance and belongingness. Let E be your emotional barriers. 
Emotion which is sometimes unpredictable when not regulated very well. Oh, please take care of this. <laughs> is one big factor to an open and free communication because of its complexity as age is concerned. An older adult or adult may be more adept at regulating his or her emotion than a younger one. As regards emotional barriers, they comprise mainly of your fear, mistrust, suspicion, which were developed during your childhood and infancy when you were cautioned to be careful about what you said to others by elders. You know, traditional families often advise, mind your peace and your cues, or mind your manners. Don't speak until you're spoken to. Children should be seen and not heard, and a lot of advice. As a result, you hold back from communicating your thoughts and feelings to others. You become vulnerable. Well, some caution may be wise, but excessive fear, oh my God, of what others might think hinders your development as effective communicators and your ability to form meaningful social relationships. Get rid of these barriers by accepting imperfection. They say nobody is perfect. Even Mr. Perfect Man does not possess the perfect yes. emotion. <laughs> Just look for something positive and stop judging yourselves. Another way is by overcoming your fear and doubt. Because when you are afraid and doubtful, it is very difficult for you to formulate or process logical statements seriously right by then you become free and overpower your emotions you become superman yes. or <laughs> darna oh yeah now let the last e be your exceptionality barriers exceptionalities are your weaknesses disabilities and handicapping conditions are you worried about social stereotyping because people often label you with disabilities or assume that the quality of your life is poor or unhealthy or always discourage you because you are underachievers due to your impairments and that you are incapable of doing something the normal ones can do? Don't worry, be happy. Get rid of these barriers. Stay focused on the positives instead of the negatives. Never give up. Challenge yourselves and try new things every day. And give others your very big smile despite negative feedbacks. Do not compare yourselves with others and find times to celebrate your little accomplishments yes, you know every person is unique always think that your abilities and intelligences would make you excel if properly nurtured howard gardner a social psychologist and the originator of multiple intelligences claims that every person possesses more than one intelligences and that is you all of you so be proud of your MI or multiple intelligences. Now the physical environment, perception, gender, language, interpersonal, culture, emotion, and exceptionality barriers are no longer the issues. Throw all of them. Focus on the tree of productivity instead. Build your social network with others of same interest. Value your self-worth because you have the talents and skills. Understand the gender differences. Constantly practice communicating with others. Try to adjust yourself to the group you belong. Maintain your positive contact 
with your peers. Stop worrying and accept all imperfections and what others think. And always consider yourselves unique and multi-talented people. By then, you can achieve a degree of success. Are you ready to become effective communicators now? Okay, start building your much stronger language foundation. But how? You will know the secret if you follow my next video. This is Rupert Jordan inviting everyone to stay tuned to this channel. Please subscribe if you have not yet clicked the button below. Also, please like, leave your comments, and share this video with your families and friends, and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Tumblr. Bye for now.